Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be sharing with you guys some fall kind of ish recipes. They could be breakfasts, they could be desserts, snacks. We're just sharing the yummy recipes today. So I'm really excited. We are going to be making some pumpkin spice latte donuts. There we go. Some chocolate banana bread and some caramel apple dip. I'm so excited. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first recipe we are making are these pumpkin donuts. So I'm starting off with a couple eggs, some coconut oil, and we are gonna add in some vanilla for flavor, a little bit of monk root, but you can also use coconut sugar and just whisk that up until everything is nice and combined. Of course, you're going to need some pumpkin. Just make sure you use pumpkin puree. The only ingredient should be pumpkin. You don't wanna get pumpkin pie filling. They're just very different. We're gonna add in some coconut flour, some tapioca flour, but you can also use arrowroot. And as always, all the measurements will be down below. Baking powder, baking soda, and then whisk that together until there are no more clumps and everything is nice and combined. And then I'm just using a donut mold to pipe these out. If you don't have a donut mold, you can make muffins out of this. Donut kind of just makes it a different shape. And I really like the feeling of a donut. I think it's like a fun shape. So I just like to use a bag to squeeze it out. You can definitely use your fingers. I just find that this is less messy and just allows it to pipe a lot easier. We're gonna put those into the oven. And then once they cool, I'm making a glaze from almond butter maple syrup and some pumpkin spice it is really simple you can use cashew butter or another kind of nut butter here just use a mild one like a peanut butter would have a lot of obviously peanut flavor versus almond butter and cashew butter are more mild so i like to dip each one of them once they are fully cooled if you do not wait until they're fully cooled the glaze will really melt and drip off and not in a good way so just wait until they are fully cooled and then we're gonna dip each of our donuts in. And as you can see, this is gonna make six donuts. So if you wanna make more, you can always double the recipe. So just dip each of the donuts into it and then place it on your sheet, allow it to set for a few minutes. And you have these wonderfully moist pumpkin spice donuts. The glaze is amazing. I mean, can we take a moment for the shine of that glaze? It is delicious and they are oh so Yummy, definitely a recipe you are going to love to make this fall time. So before we hop into the next recipe, I wanted to mention today's sponsor, which is Element, Adore Element, but especially their chocolate. If you have not tried the chocolate element, it is so good. I put it in coffee, I put it in cacao, in smoothies, and when you're having like a little nice healthy dessert, the chocolate goes perfectly. That little bit of salty and sweet is just it's amazing. There's only one gram of sugar, and like I said, electrolytes just are a game changer for my life. These ones are paleo, they're vegan, and they have this science-backed ratio of magnesium, potassium, and sodium in them. They are a game changer for me because when I add them in, I notice that not only do I absorb water a lot better, but things like muscle aches or cravings in between meals or headaches all that stuff just kind of goes away. There's so much that you don't realize is actually an electrolyte imbalance. Even when you eat healthy, your electrolytes can still get off, might make you tired, and I know if I am in the afternoon and I get a little tired or a little headachey, I need some electrolytes, whether it's summer, winter, no matter where around, where around the world I am, there we go, I'm always bringing my element with me. So they were really nice to give you guys a free sample pack of eight with any order. So if you've ordered them before and you're like, Liv, I got them, I love them. You can still get a free sample pack, so it's for returning customers as well, which is really, really nice of them. And you can try out all the other flavors if you haven't tried those already. My favorite, like I said, are the chocolate, the citrus, and probably the raspberry. But I also really like the unflavored too, if you just want something plain and simple. Honestly, they're all so good and they make such a difference in my health. I would say they're one of the top things I do every single day. I start my morning before my coffee, 
to hydrate while we've been sleeping. It is something I've loved for oh, probably like over a year now, probably close to two years because they're just, they're so amazing. So with that being said, definitely click the link in the description box and I'm also gonna have it here so you guys can get your free sample pack of eight. Let me know which one is your fave. And let's all stay really hydrated and have our electrolytes be balanced so that we can be thriving and healthy and feeling good. Next up, we are making this brownie banana bread or a brownie bread that we're basically gonna use mainly bananas for our sweetener. So I'm using three large bananas. I like to place them in the oven to make them really ripe. So wait until they're black. I pop them in at 350 for a few minutes until they're darkened. That way they're also easier to mash. And as you guys can see, it's making the camera steamy. So they are hot. Be careful when you handle them, but it does add to the sweetness of the bread naturally from the banana. So I always like to do this step. Then I'm going to mash up my bananas. You can definitely use a blender for this if you want to, but we were just gonna hand mash it for us today. I'm adding in an egg. Now you can use a flax egg here. Just remember if you're using a vegan egg to really make sure you give it a good 10, 15 minutes to gel first. So three bananas, three eggs, monk fruit. Again, you can use coconut sugar, a little bit of vanilla, and we are going to stir that together. Then we're gonna add in our dry ingredients. So we're adding in our almond flour. I'm adding in our cacao powder, which of course is going to make it nice and chocolatey. Some baking soda, which is just gonna help it kind of rise and develop and have a wonderful texture. And then we're gonna just fold all of that in. So it's a fairly simple recipe. You don't need too many different things and it comes together in just one bowl. I like to add in some unsweetened Chocolate chips, Camino makes my favorite one, is just two ingredients. I believe it's cacao butter and cacao, so it's only two things, no sugar. And I just fold that in. You can, again, blend this if you really don't want any chunks of banana. I like a couple of chunks in it. It really gives it that, that cooked banana bread feel. Lay it into your loaf pan. I like to line mine with parchment paper, so it's really easy. Sprinkle a few more chocolate chips on top if you want. And then I place it in the oven for about 50 to 60 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean and then I let it cool for about 10 minutes in the pan before taking it out. And then you can go ahead and slice your chocolate, banana bread, your brownie bread, whatever you wanna call it. It basically is banana bread with chocolate and it tastes so good. I like to slice it up and then freeze it so that it stays nice and fresh. So I recommend if you wanna eat it with all 24 to 48 hours, you could keep it out, but beyond 48 hours, I would pop it in the freezer, not the fridge to keep it fresh. If you didn't know, a secret hack to keeping a baked goods fresh is to not put it in the fridge. The fridge will dry it out. Put it in the freezer. And lastly, we're making this caramel apple dip, which was so insane. When I tasted this guy, my taste buds were, they were loving it. So I'm adding in some yogurt you can use I recommend an unsweetened yogurt, like a plain one with no added sweeteners, just like a plain regular, not even vanilla, and vanilla has added sugars. And we're just gonna be adding stuff to it so we can control the amount. So I add in some almond butter to that and we're just going to stir it. You can make a big batch of this, but you can also make this in smaller batches if you just want a little snack. So I'm gonna add that to my bowl, our little protein mixture. And then we're gonna make the caramel top, again, with a little bit of almond butter some vanilla just to add that more caramelly flavor and a touch of maple syrup again just so that we can kind of control the sweetness here and we're going to stir that together until we get this like nice thick caramel paste as you guys can see it literally looks like more of a melted caramel so you just go ahead and spread this on top this would be really cool to like triple or even quadruple the recipe if you're going to have friends over and you want to make it like for a party like a party sized you can definitely do that. And then I just like to sprinkle a little bit of granola on the top to finish it off, but you could also finish it off with chopped pecans, uh, any kind of chopped nut that you like, but a granola is a great way if you just have some lying around. And then we're slicing up an apple. Of course, you can have an apple with this. You can have strawberries, but I feel like the apple with the protein of the yogurt, we got a little bit of sweetness, but the almond butter, the crunch, it honestly feels like eating caramel dip with a little bit of crunch. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also tag me when you make these on Instagram. I cannot wait to eat all of this now that we've made it. And do not forget to get your sample pack of Element with any order. The chocolate one, guys, it's just, it's gonna go well. 
little chocolate element with your donut, with your dip, or even with your chocolate banana bread. It's just all around a good time. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.